my whole life. I've been just fascinated with maps and roads and bridges and tunnels and just all kind of infrastructure. But once I realized it was civil engineers, there really wasn't a question on uh, the pathway I was going. Yeah, I went to North Carolina State University, uh, studied, studied civil engineering, um, did Army ROTC. So I was a former Army officer. I got commissioned uh, in the Army after graduation. I actually did construction in the Army. Um, and when I transitioned out, I uh, started working at North Carolina Department of Transportation uh, delivering highway projects. Uh, I've been with Stantec now for nine years. I have multiple roles, so I have to deliver projects. So I am a, a senior transportation engineer, but then also I lead our Raleigh office, which has approximately 146 employees tied to it. The work I do allows me to find that balance of doing the work that I love, but making sure uh, the communities that we impact are advocated for. We've got four communities in North Charleston that are primarily African-American and, and low income. The project itself is going to widen portions of I-526 and I-26, which are smack in the middle of these communities. What that meant for us was, in addition to designing the project, we were also tasked with helping to address those impacts from the project. My role is the co-lead of the environmental justice uh, engagement team. One of our key focuses was making sure that not only were residents able to remain within their voting district, but also making sure children remained in their school district. We've got a replacement housing program that focuses on acquiring vacant properties or properties that are for sale in these communities and constructing new replacement housing in those lots. Environmental justice isn't new. I think what's different is how agencies are more empowered to lean into environmental justice and actually prioritize uh, lower income and communities of color when it comes to balance and other impacts and what we consider success for the project. Um, when I look back at my career, there are projects where I wish we could have done more. Um, however, that wasn't the priority. What I found with this project in particular, um, SCDOT realized that this was going to be important to being able to deliver the project. The same amount of effort we put into designing the project, I felt like we put more into it, into trying to figure out how do we mitigate uh, for the impacts of the project. And that hasn't been my experience when it came to uh, project work. While I was working at Department of Transportation, at the time we had a bunch of different firms that were working for me. Now I was on a, a, a project meeting with one of the Stantec employees, and so we were talking about leadership. And what I realized um, was, in my mind was if I ever leave state government and go to consulting, I'm gonna work for somebody just like that because of how important people were to them. It was the opportunity to work and learn from somebody who is a true leader. And that's what I was looking for. And that's what I've always gotten since I've been here.